If you're looking for an affordable infrared camera for your business or for your home or for your tradesman, a handyman or whatever, I'm going to show you why you should strongly consider the Top Don TC002 uh, or maybe the FLIR C5 cameras. I've been using the FLIR C5 here for a couple of months now. I had the FLIR uh, 1 Pro before that and then the FLIR 1 Edge Pro as well. And honestly, I was going to do this comparison between the FLIR 1 Edge Pro and the Top Don TC002, the iPhone version of this. Um, but the FLIR 1 Edge Pro died on me. It just quit working. It would not sync. I uh, couldn't get it to do anything. So I had to send it back to FLIR. And to make a long story short, they, didn't, they never sent me a replacement for it. But what they did send me was a C5. Uh, and to their credit, I really appreciate that because... Frankly, the C5 is a better device and it's a lot more expensive. It's an $800 camera versus the $500 FLIR One Edge Pro. Um, so I was excited to test it. I've been using it for a couple of months now. And I wanted to kind of illustrate some of the, the main differences that I found using these two cameras side by side and, and just doing home energy audits. This is my main business. So with the, the TC002, the Top Don, right off the bat, I was really impressed with um, the image quality that this little device has. I paid $230 for this on Black Friday last year, and I think it's normally about $299. So for less than $300, this is a fantastic infrared camera that really surprised me from a manufacturer I'd never even heard of before. Uh, but I decided to give it a try. There's a few things that I do like about it. Um, the, the build quality, this is a metal housing, it's not plastic. So it feels just better constructed from that standpoint. And then it just basically snaps right into your phone. So just goes into the phone like that, and then it'll boot up pretty quickly. And there's an, uh, an app that you use, you have to download, it's called Top Infrared. And then when it boots up, you just click the device and you're just, you're up and running within seconds, which is really nice. Um, and you can also take video by um, doing a screen record with the phone, with the Top Don, which you can't do for some reason with the C5. So that's one of my first gripes from a comparison standpoint between the C5 and the TC002. No video recording, you can video record, which is a huge bonus to, to me. One thing I like about the Top Don is it has a better resolution infrared camera than the FLIR C5, which basically uses the same sensor as the FLIR One Edge Pro. I assumed wrongly that the C5 would have some better camera feature than the FLIR One Edge Pro, and it really doesn't. And I mean, this, it takes the same pictures, it basically looks the same, same refresh rate, same resolution, which was kind of disappointing. So one of the things that I did like about the FLIR C5 is that it is an all-in-one device. It has its own built-in, um, I think it's a five megapixel regular camera built into it. And it's lightweight, it's easy to hold in one hand, it comes with a, a little lanyard strap so you can put it around your wrist so you don't drop it. Um, so from, from that standpoint, it has its own battery so you don't have to worry about draining your phone battery when you're using it. Um, it does have a touchscreen, which is nice. And there, you can use it in either portrait mode or in horizontal mode and it adjusts the orientation automatically. So all those things are great. I'm also not using my phone when I'm using this camera. So if I need to talk to somebody or whatever, that's a nice uh, bonus, I guess you could say. However, from a real world usability sensitivity, like I can find things with this camera, um, I found it much easier to use the Top Don camera than this one from a thermal sensitivity standpoint, from a refresh rate, from a, just a pure pleasurable like experience standpoint. I really like the Top Don better. Um, and it's, you know, like I said, less than $300 compared to $800. So just a, a ton of value in this camera. But a few things I did not like about the C5 are it takes forever to get going. By the, after you press the, pr the start button, the power button, it takes over a minute for this thing to boot up and actually be usable. Um, whereas with the Top Don, I mean, within seconds, I plug it in, it's ready to go. You open the app and it's, it's just there and ready. So from a usability standpoint, the Top Don wins from, from that kind of standpoint. And what I'm going to do is show you some side-by-side -side pictures that I took during a recent energy audit. Um, and this was about 80, 85 degrees outside. There was maybe a 10 or 15 degree temperature difference between inside and outside just for you geeks out there. Um, so normally you want to have at least 10 to 15 degrees or more to get good thermal images. But what I found with this Top Don is 
even less than that, I can still find stuff with this. Not so much with the, the C5. So you'll see, as we kind of scroll through these pictures, there is just a clear difference in the clarity of the picture of the top Don versus the, in, the FLIR camera. Um, and even though the FLIR provides the MX fusion, you know, so it kind of like outlines different things in the room so you can sort of tell what you're looking at, like windows and doors and furniture and stuff will kind of have this little white outline around it. It just seemed a lot more natural with the top Don looking through it, where its fusion camera actually uses the phone's camera, blends them together, and it doesn't do that outline. So I just think the pictures look better. You can see more detail in the pictures as well. So for 300 bucks, I mean, I can't, I don't think you can go wrong. Even if you break this thing, you know, which I don't know how you would break it other than just dropping it with the phone and smashing the bottom of it. This is a pretty well built thing. And for 300 bucks, you could buy two of these for what you pay for one of these FLIR C5s. So um, the one caveat I will say is because it goes into the, uh, the USB-C jack on your phone is if you do drop it on an angle and it bends into your phone, you have a potential of breaking the port on your phone that charges your phone, which is no good. But what I would definitely recommend when you're using this is have a pop socket or some kind of a strap on the back of your phone because you don't want to cover A, the camera on your phone, nor do you want to cover the infrared camera on the bottom of your phone so if your hand covers the camera or the sensor on the infrared it will blur the image and then it just you know you'll have to take it again so the pop socket definitely helps if you have that attached to the phone when you're using it so the last thing i'll say about the top down camera is that i wish they would do a software update so that when you turn the camera to landscape mode, it actually switches the orientation of the, the infrared image as well. That's something that the C5 does automatically, and I feel like every camera should be able to do that, if it's, especially if it's connected to a smartphone. So hopefully they make an update for that. But if you're interested in either one of these cameras, I'll put the links in the description below where you can get them on Amazon. I purchased these cameras on my own. I was not sponsored to do this video. so. Any, uh, any purchases through the links I really appreciate, help support the channel. And let me know if you have any questions about the cameras or if you've got some cool use uh, cases that you'd like to share in the comments below. So I'll see you on the next one.